Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Ramen noodles. That's how we're going to roll today. Keep it cheap. Use your flavor packet. Two cups of water. And we're going to dump that straight in there. This helps to flavor the noodles as it absorbs the flavor instead of adding it later. But we don't need the full two cups. And we need a little bit of it set aside for the sauce when we saute the vegetables and noodles all together. So we're going to scoop out about four ounces of sauce and set that aside. We're going to add some sugar. Also your choice of either hoisin or oyster sauce. Either one's fine, but they both provide a completely different flavor. So go with which one you like the best. Add the noodles, and we're only going to cook them till al dente, that means not all the way. This is critical because we're going to cook the noodles when we stir fry the vegetables, so we don't want them to get sticky from being overcooked. Just give them a quick strain, no big deal, put them back in your pan, set them aside, and get ready for the next stage, okay? Now, hot pan, peanut oil, and that's essential because the peanut oil is great tasting in the noodles. Add some garlic, throw in your vegetables, and rock and roll, baby. Give it a good stir, good, good toss. Try not to land it on the stove. <laughs> I think I lose a couple pieces right here, actually. No big deal. Add the noodles. Again, stir, toss, and then uh, here we'll, we'll be adding the uh, the secret sauce, if you will, the uh, bouillon and the sugar and uh, poison that we set aside. Drop that in right now, so you can see it's got some good color, uh, it's some good flavor to these noodles. Now this literally only takes a minute to do. Incorporate all that sauce into this noodle. As soon as you see that it's even, get it out before it gets sticky. That's it, that's all, and you'll be ready to serve. And remember, it's just noodles, so you don't have to get too intricate with it. Just slop it on your plate and get ready to have a feast. There you have it. Chow mein, or lo mein, whatever you want to call it, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.